Hi everyone, uh, we're back at it. I think we're about to go mining. What's the temperature? 37.6, going down. That's good. Uh, let's get to it. Let's not waste any time. Beacon on. Mining belt on. Check that there. Um, okay, so let's let's head off over here. Um, there was a ton of iron and stuff over here. I remember. Whoa, okay, um, going mining just after loading a game, not the best idea, because as you can see, uh, the chunks are not loading, um, I'm getting bugs galore, this is terrible, I can get all this surface stuff, but, uh, yeah, honestly, oh, this is terrible. What's going on here? Um, it's going to take a while for the game to load everything. By the time this dirt starts updating properly, uh, it could be morning already. Could, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I, I get a bunch of this surface stuff here. Oh, there's a lovely copper deposit right here. But uh, I really need this dirt to disappear. Um, I, 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 yeah, I wasn't thinking. Don't go mining just after reloading. Oh, I don't want silver. Uh, what I might do is just try and eat away some of this dirt. Like, it won't update, but I, I do not like this floating Minecraft island right here. This is just annoying. So, I might just get rid of that. Also, I mean, I, I do need more nickel, and there's nickel up here, so let's, let's try and eat away some of this mountain. At some point, it'll, it'll update. I do need silicon, glass, and plastic. If I'm actually going to upgrade my base entirely to steel, then, uh, yeah, I'm going to need a lot of silicon. But yeah, th this developers I, I really hope they um, I really hope they address this it, I mean they would probably would have addressed it's been around this has been a problem for a long time now so I'm guessing it's really hard to to address there's so much physics in this game with um, pressure and temperature and the gases that um, maybe it's just something that's very very difficult to fix because the computer needs to process all the information. There's gold down here. I'm not going to mine it. I'm just going to mine around it. Oh, I need that coal. Um, so if I just like eat away this dirt here, when this eventually updates, this this, this gold will be more visible. I can grab all this surface iron, uh, coal right here. <clears throat> so I, I want five stacks of coal, fifteen stacks of stacks of iron, um, a stack of iron, and a stack of copper as well. Because I'm going to make Invar and Constantan on this next furnace run. Alright, anyway, I'm just clearing away dirt. It doesn't look like I'm clearing away dirt because it's not updating, but trust me, it's getting cleared away. bunch of iron down here I really want. I, I'm guessing this whole little section here, like look it's all iron. <clears throat> but because the terrain's not updating it's not... I can't really, I can't really get it. I, I can get a bit of it. Um, yeah, okay so my plan of going out and getting my 15 stacks of iron is kind of uh, going to be put on hold because uh, the game is <clears throat> not going to start updating stuff. Of course my hydration is critical, when is it never critical? Um, so I mean this is one of the reasons why I think I need to have a bit of updating just happened. Um, one of the reasons why I need to have like an outpost somewhere because realistically I can't fly off somewhere that's like really resource rich, mine a bunch of stuff and then come back. 
because the terrain won't update. So what I can do is I can go out somewhere, build a little outpost, a little base, temporary little base, you know, some solar panels and storage lockers, food, water, have, have a bunch of stuff there ready to go. And, you know, and just spend the whole day inside while the, while the black hole is out. And then, uh, on the very next night, start mining resources. Because uh, I've been sitting in the same area for so long, hopefully the, the, the chunks in that area have loaded and the terrain will, will actually mine properly. So, I'm getting quite a lot of nickel. I've pro probably got too much nickel. Uh, unless I want to make multiple stacks of of alloys. I do want lots of this stuff. So if the terrain's loading properly here, maybe it's loading properly in the other area as well. I might just head back over there really quickly. I do want this silicon, all the glass and plastic I'm going to get. Um, I do want to eat away at this mountain top uh, because my flat panels might get a little bit more sun or a little bit more light, I should say, uh, during the day, if this, uh, this little hill is not blocking them. Honestly, th this, this bit here is probably a, a better one to go for, but yeah, this is not updating, so, yeah. This hill has actually been fantastic for resources, so a lot here. Set my base up in a good location by the looks of it all these resources just right next to me. Uh, there's a little floating mound of dirt I don't want to see. Uh, is it floating or is it connected? Oh, it's connected. It won't be after I just did that though. Um, yeah, so it's only that bit up there that was updating. The rest of this is not updating. Um, which is annoying because I want that coal and that iron I'm going to go back there again, see if the uh, terrain is updated yet. And that's, there's the black hole starting to rise up. I don't want that cobalt. I, I'm just eating dirt away. I'm just running around, just eating as much dirt as I possibly can. Um, this is pretty good. Oh, there's copper. So I'd love to keep digging down here. I do need a stack of copper. Copper plus nickel makes something, I can't remember which one, Constantan or Inva. I always mix those two up. Uh, before I do my smelt, I'm going to uh, alt tab out and uh, check up uh, the wiki page on the furnace <coughs> to see which one's which and yeah. See one of them requires a specific uh, pressure range between 18 megapascals and 20 megapascals and that's the tricky one to get. Well, what's wrong going to happen with this furnace is I'm going to put my fuel in. Okay, it's starting to get hot out here now. I'm going to put my fuel in, um, immediately um, release some steel, and then I'm going to turn the active vent on to boost the pressure of the furnace. And that should send the temperature wild and the pressure wild. And then um, when the pressure gets to 18 megapascals, I'm going to turn the active vent off and quickly do one of my alloys and doing that alloy should boost the pressure even more which will allow me to do the second alloy there's actually gold in here which I really want as well I can't stay out here any longer it's almost 200 degrees um, I'm just digging away grabbing stuff oh look at this uh, resources maxing out I'm just digging away the last little bits. There's a ton of copper here. No, copper coal, I mean. I keep saying copper when I mean coal. It's uh, 250 degrees now. I mean, it, it, my suit can handle it. There's no actual danger as such. The hard suits can, can handle pretty, pretty high temperatures. Can I get more of this copper? I got it all. That panting sound is my water running out again. I don't want any silver. I do want this coal though. 
Okay, 350 degrees. I gotta get indoors. No, I don't want silver. I wanna just try and get a little bit more stuff before I go back. It annoys me that I see five coal, seven coal sitting there. Take away that. Grab this stuff really quickly. Grab this stuff really quickly. Okay, let's get out of here. Where's my base? There it is. So get over there, turn the beacon off. It's 450 degrees almost. Stick resources in the cupboard. Um, so, um, iron. Iron. Coal. I'm doing going to do it that way. So, yeah, that's my steel production. Copper. Okay, I got enough nickel already. Uh, silicon will be run through the furnace at the end of it all. Okay, I can get out of here now. It's 500 degrees. Whoa. Hot. Okay, um, there's actually quite a lot of things I can do now during the day. Uh, one thing I want to do is first check the temperature of the greenhouse. 35.4. That's good. Uh, let's fix my battery situation. That's good. I'll empty my waste tank and up my propellant. And probably also up my oxygen tank as well. Um, I need to drink some water. Uh, batteries. Let's. That's 83. It's actually done quite well. This one here is at 96. Go blue. Thank you. Go on blue. Oh, yeah, batter, batteries are recharged. That's fine. Let's drink some water. I'm also going to check my water level in the tank there and. Uh, see what, what's going on there. Um, oh, I probably only have two more drinks left in there. Um, let's check some pressure and temperatures. Pressure's fine. Temperature, it could be a little cooler. Oxygen temperature is perfect. Hydrogen pressure, I want that temperature lower. I have got radiators, a radiator working on that. What's the temperature of this? 9.3, that's good. Yeah, 8.2 there. Uh, temperature or pressure? Temperature this negative 22.5. That wall cooler will get more and more efficient. I'm going to check this just in case any of my filters have run out. They haven't. If I saw a gas in there, I know that one of those things isn't filtering. So that's one of the cool things about parallel. Um, okay, other things I want to do. Yeah, I said propellant. Let's um, let's just up my propellant really quickly. Um, fantastic, 8521, and, oh god, the black hole's there already. God, it's going across the sky very quickly today. Let's get the air tank up as well. 7800, that's fantastic. Uh, I don't need to, but I'm going to empty my waste tank. That filter, I just realized, is dead. So, I can put this filter away now. Credit card, um, I should sell that. It's an empty credit card, I don't actually need it. The other thing I want to sell, actually, is this portable solar panel. I'm not I'm going to use that. Um, so I want to make a new filter, which requires iron. I've got enough in there already. Filter. Carbon dioxide, thank you. Uh, 36.2, the temperature's going up now, but it was going down before. I've got a feeling it's going up during the day and down during the night, which means... It's the presence of the black hole in the sky which is heating up the room. So um, the walls or the floors are actually conveying heat into the room. Maybe the iron, maybe iron windows let a little bit of heat in. Maybe steel is perfectly insulated, I'm not, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it, I think I've solved that problem. It, it goes up during the day, down during the night. So I might... My, my, Greenhouse, with the cooler on, I think my greenhouse is staying at a pretty stable temperature that's just fluctuating between like 34 and it's probably going to get to about 37, 38, 37, because this thing is getting low already. Okay, other things I can do right now is um, I I noticed before I still have a, I've got two stacks of tomatoes and two empty cans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make um, power benches. 
make a microwave. I'll also probably do a reagent processor and a chemistry station. Um, sun's getting low. So I want a table, kit tables. I want two of these. Um, these things can go in here. Yeah. Wait, I didn't check how quickly are these being produced. I haven't created any yet. Okay, it's good. I don't want to make too many. I don't want to make more than two. I'm not going to put tables randomly around the place. Um, sun is almost set. Or oh, the black hole is almost set. So I've got two tables here. Oh God, that looks amazing. But anyway, uh, no time to imagine this. Let's uh, no time to admire the scenery. Let's just chuck it here. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Chuck another one right next to it. Let's um, let's get this out of here now. This iron don't need it in there at the moment. Oh, iron and copper. Probably also. I assume it's gold as well. Iron, copper, gold is, seems to be the what you need for everything. Oh, that, yeah, silicon landing on a cable makes it very hard to pick the silicon up. And I want to make a microwave first. Oh, that's pretty slow, actually. Uh, well, while that's uh, being produced, I'm going to cable this up. Just uh, keep an eye on it. I don't want to make two microwaves. That would be a, a waste. Um, so... Let's get... Ah, quick! What's the microwave at? 52. Okay. And there we go. Power bench. Should be all ready to go. Yep. What are we up to? 73. Um, oh, i got exactly the number of cables I need to get both power benches working. Is it ready yet? Wait, did I just cancel it? I just cancelled it. Really? What? No! Uh, fine, we'll restart it. I, I didn't think I clicked on it. Uh, I need to get outside. Okay, so the moment this microwave is done, I will chuck it down, wrench it on. I need to get outside now. Um, how's the temperature in the room looking? 37.0, so we've got all the way to 37 degrees. The question is, once the black hole has set as such, once it's gone down, I get still, the temperature's still going up. Um, so, I'm, I'm certain it was going down before. Yeah, now it's going down. Okay, so it's going up during the day and down during the night. Okay, there's my microwave. Why did I open? I didn't want to open it. I wanted to pick it up. Drop. And you just wrench it on. There we go. Let's close it. Um, so that's something I'm going to do. I'm going to just turn that stack of tomatoes into two cans of tomato soup. It just creates one one space of extra room for me. I need more cables. Got to remember to do that. I'm going out mining again. Um, right now. Food is fine. Water is fine. Let's go. Um, beacon on. Let's put those two items in the vending machine. In you go. I'm just going to sell them. Just get rid of them. Um, okay, we can now... Something else. Is that wall cooler is on, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, let's, um, let's get back to the task at hand. Coal and iron. Look, there's a ton of iron there. Um, now, is this updating now? Oh, it's still not updating. What's going on? Okay, this side is updating. Oh, so they are. They both are. Fantastic. Um, okay. I don't want to get stuck inside the terrain. I've died like that a few times where uh, the terrain suddenly updates and you didn't realize you were inside the terrain at the time and just like just got squished um, or uh, have, have your suit just highly extremely damaged by by a bug basically that's what the auto saves are for if that happens to me I'm just gonna load an auto save um, I don't I, I think it's really silly 
dying or having something bad happen to you because of a glitch in the game rather than you know your own incompetence or my own incompetence okay so I'm just digging away looking for iron um, I can't remember how much coal I needed I do know I needed a lot more iron Maybe I, sh I should have looked in the cupboard before I left to see what my coal situation was. If I do need some, I know it's not much that I need. M maybe a stack. I don't know. Okay, so is there any more gold here? Come on, dig up. Iron, this is what I want. Please, terrain, update, update, update. So because of this uh, terrain, terrain not updating thing, I'm pretty much going to be using my jetpack all the time. It's just going to be, I mean, not inside the base, obviously, but when I'm out mining, I'm just going to be jetpacking. Uh, the worry is that the terrain will suddenly update and I'll end up falling into magma, or lava, I should say. Uh, magma is... Uh, hot. Mag magma is the stuff underneath the surface. Lava is the stuff that's come out to the surface. I think that's right anyway. That's uh, that's what I've been thinking my entire life. So I think I read that as a child. Uh, so I could have been wrong all these years. I think that's the distinction between the two. If it's come to the surface, it's lava. If it's below the surface, it's magma. See, so look at this. Um, the What's happened here is um, the chunk I'm currently sitting in is loading and that's why I can mine resources. That chunk just over there is not loading. And that's why it's giving me a, a giant window to the underground and I can see all that silicon down there. See, as you can see, I, I just fly up and it's like, yeah. Yeah, I think it just loaded just then. But uh, I do know something I didn't know before. There's a bunch of silicon down here. Oh, it was, it was right there. Yeah, here we go. Another, another thing. You can see I'm right down the edge. So on the right there is a chunk that's not loading in. On the left is a chunk that is. So I'm creating a window to see what's going on underneath, you know, in an unloaded chunk. It's, uh, it's pretty, very annoying. Yeah, I don't, I don't want that sort of thing to happen. Um, anyway, um, getting sidetracked, watching bugs and stuff. A little bit of gold here. Fantastic. Is there any more down here? That looks like another piece. Oh, two more pieces. Then, uh, ooh, two more pieces again. Fantastic. And I'll grab this one. I'm trying not to get the silver oh more more that's good any more gold in here oh here we go again that chunk right there is not loading I can kind of oh, I was about to say I can use that to my advantage I can just slip myself straight down and check to see if there's any more gold I saw this for a split second through the terrain, but uh, I'm not sure if there's any more gold here. Well, there might be, but it's, it's hard to find. I'm going to have to dig around for ages. I, I'm actually, I cannot stand looking at floating resources. I'm going to just mine this. I have a little bit of silver already in the storage box, so I'm not actually wasting space by, by doing this. Okay, here we go. So there's gold there. I'm just trying to use this bug to my advantage to find resources. Yeah, there's actually lots of gold down here, and there's two bits over there that I can get. Um, so we're just going to dig this up. It's not digging up, that one is. So what, that's not loading. Oh my god, I can almost create the... Uh, wow, I can almost create a square of a chunk that is loaded and one that isn't. It's crazy. 
This is very dangerous, so I could glitch through the terrain and uh, get squished. Yeah, like, see, it all loaded in just then, all at the same time. If I was inside the terrain when it did that, squish. I, you know, I could die or just take a ridiculous amount of damage. A lot of resources down here that I want, anyway, ones that I want. There's also a lot of magma down here. Is there any more gold nearby? There's gold there. Just dig away some of this. See if we can find more gold. It's only the magma there that hurts you. This glowing rock doesn't hurt. So as long as I don't fly into that magma, I'm okay. Copper here. God, this is scary. Is there any more copper? If I just dig away this stuff? Yeah, I thought so. Whoa! Unloaded chunk. Is that... Oh. I'm actually disappointed. I wanted the bug to last a little bit longer so I could see what resource that was. I think it was copper. This is very dangerous, what I'm doing. I, I think I've dug away all this stuff. I don't think I'm flying inside terrain right now. Generally, if the if the terrain around me is is getting eaten away, then I know I'm I'm okay. It's it's when the terrain is not updating, then I, I could be flying through through actual through the wall. Okay, there's some more copper. Let's just take some time to sort my belt out a little bit. See, at the moment I'm, I'm, I'm feeling a bit safe because this terrain is actually updating. I can dig in, in, in pretty much any direction and it's updating. So I know I'm actually in an actual gap. I'm not, I'm not in the middle of terrain right now. Um, any more copper? Uh, hunger's fine, 30%. Uh, so here's the thing, uh, water, I like the water consumption rate. I mean, I know I complain about it a lot, but I actually like that it's that difficult. I really want to be able to increase the hunger consumption rate so that there, there's a bigger rush to get a greenhouse, not just for oxygen, but for food. The problem is, and if I press this for a second and go to my settings, I hope you can all see this, um, the hunger and hydration rate are the same bar. So if I up the hunger rate, I'm also increasing the hydration rate. Now if I made the hydration rate higher than it currently is, there's no way on earth I could, I could live on Vulcan. I would die, be, I would run out of water and die well before I got anywhere near a H2 combustor. So I can't actually change it. I wish the settings were, were broken into two. So hunger rate and hydration rate were two different things. This is no longer updating which is very disturbing. These are, there's the black hole currently coming up. Let's just get rid of some of this terrain really quick. I didn't actually get much in the way of materials then. Um, I wanted to collect a lot more than that. But I spent a lot of that time dealing with, yeah, this, bugs. Is that, are they vertical and horizontal chunks? It might be. Because this is just weird. What's happening right now. Um, I want to get rid of this floating Minecraft island here. Come on. No, it's not updating. Anyway, it's, it's almost 250 degrees out here. i got to get back inside. I don't have to. I can stay out here for quite some time. And it's not a problem. I just like the idea that it's like, oh no, it's the you know the black hole's coming up. Quick, get indoors. I like that aspect. It's a uh, so I'm kind of treating it as if I can't stay out here too long, when in reality I can. Um, can I just get a bit more iron? 
god, all that silver. Let's get that coal. Use my jetpack this entire time. There's gold there that I want. Um, whoa. There's there's a window. Plenty of iron floating around. But uh, yeah, let, let's get out of here. Where's my base? That's uranium over there. Base is over here. Okay, it's almost 400 degrees out here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Turn that off. Stick that back in my belt. Let's do this. Um, coal. I Yeah, I do need a, a stack and a half of coal still. Here we go. 50, 50, 50. Put six there. Is that a full stack of copper? Well, it is now. Copper. Copper. Gold. Quick, get back inside. Silver. That's it. That's good. I'm kind of I'm kind of acting as if 600 degrees is the limit on what I can handle. I actually think I can go more than that. I don't think it gets that much higher than 600, actually, to be honest. Okay, a lot of things I can do right now while it's daytime and I'm indoors. Once again, I'm gonna. I'm not going to touch my oxygen this time or bother with my waste tank. I'm going to change some of these batteries out though. Well, I'm going to recharge some of these batteries. Go blue, go blue, go blue. Thank you. I'm not going to bother with the tablet. I barely used it. Um, okay, uh, temperature of my greenhouse. 34. See, it dropped during the night and now it's. Um, I assume it's going back up again. It'll say 34.1 in a second. How's my cooling going? It's not really cooling at fast enough rate. I just realized I've got these radiators on my water here, and my water's already negative 100 degrees. Oh, wrong one. I, I should rip them up. I don't I don't need them there. Um, I don't think my plants are using any water at all, and I, I could have sworn they did use water. Maybe in a previous game I accidentally destroyed some water uh, by pulling up the wrong pipe. And, I, and it gave me the impression that they used up water. That's probably the more likely scenario. I'm going to need more cables because I'm out. Let's look at my temperatures. This is 27.2. Yeah, keep dropping, please. Oxygen temperatures, great. Um, 7.7, 2.7. Thirty-four. I need that to be lower. That's not really moving much. Um, okay, uh, projects. Uh, first things first, let's get these liquid radiators out of here. I want to make... I want to just fill these empty cans, basically. Just make two tomato soups. Uh, boop. Um, up you go. Now, I'll put these in first. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then a can. And yeah, we'll produce tomato soup. So we just turn that on. We just watch it. And there we go. Tomato soup. There's four entire um, food bars worth of food there. Like 400% food, pretty much. Uh, I'm going to put all this in. Whoops. No, I don't want to clear it. Let's put the can in. There we go. We'll produce tomato soup. So I actually created a space there. Those 20 tomatoes are now located inside those once empty cans. There we go, two more tomato soups. I, 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 food is just not a thing in this game, it just isn't. And I wish it was. I really, I really wish uh, I, I, could, I could change the hunger bar myself. Uh, how's our black hole looking? It's there, how's our, yeah, so our greenhouse temperature is going up. Those things are just producing oxygen, so uh, there's probably a ton of oxygen in there. I don't think I have to worry just yet about and carbon dioxide levels getting low. Um, what I want to do right now is uh, replenish my cables because I've run out. Um, also, I want a reagent processor and a chemistry station. Um, so we'll just let those cables go for a while. Is there anything else I need to be checking on? Do I leave anything going that shouldn't be going? I don't mind if my propellant just goes like that. Yeah, it's, it's fine. 
As long as I don't go over 10 megapascals. There we go. More pro just chopped up my propellant. I don't need to chop up my oxygen. I'm not going to bother. But water critical. Of course it is. Why? When is it not? Um, I might eat food. Oh, hang on. Okay, stop. Stop doing that. I wanted more cables, but um, my copper supplies are very limited at the moment. 20 extra cables are good, especially since I want to make a uh, chemistry station reagent processor first. Uh, it takes two copper. That's not so bad. No, so bad. Blech, not so bad. Five iron, one gold. So I'm going to make that thing. I'm going to eat... This is almost an empty can, so I'll make some more tomato soup. Um, yeah, okay, so the black hole is getting low. Let's just check everything. Filter's fine, battery's fine. I can dump that waste tank. What's that, 62%? Okay. I, I didn't need to do that. It can, it can go all the way to 4,000, or beyond 4,000, actually. I haven't produced this yet, have I? Oh, my, almost done. Okay, reagent processor. You can hop on there next to my microwave. Um, it's just... No! Let's just connect it. Fantastic. And now I can produce reagents. Um, I can't remember, is soy oil made in the reagent processor or in the chemistry station? I'm not sure, but that'll be the next thing I make. Uh, do I have enough materials for it? Let's quickly make it. Um, oh, it takes ages. It takes four ages. It takes ages. See, uh, yeah, the temperature of the greenhouse is now 35.3. I think last time it got all the way up to 37. So it is very slowly cooling just going up during the day, down during the night, up during the day, down during the night. And that's good, that's fine. Um, get this chemistry station, we're going to wrench it on, and then we're going to head out and get more mineral materials. Um, I want to get enough for steel. Come on. And get everything sorted out out there. I, I might just make uh, another locker, actually. Put another locker out there, one for materials I want and one for materials that are useless to me at this stage. So we're just going to chuck this on here, we're going to wrench this on, and that one's ready to go as well. Okay, let's get back to what I was doing. Um, let's just drink water real quick before I go out. I don't want to have to hear panting noises the entire time I'm, I'm out there. Um, my water situation is getting low. Did I? I did vacuum this, didn't I? I just got worried for a second then. Um, get out of my face. Okay. Beacon on. There's nothing else I need to do around here. No, so we go back. Um, I'm going to actually check my cupboard this time. Whoops. So, I've only got... I'm going to take the six with me. I need two stacks of iron. I'm going to take the 31 and two stacks of coal. Um, I've got my stack of copper. Oh, I need three stacks of iron. I need... Let's just turn that off. Um, that's okay. Yeah, I need three stacks of iron. I'll take this with me as well. Um, actually, I'm going to put this stack here below the nickel. Yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll put that stack below the nickel. I could get another 29 iron. Uh, yeah, I could, I could make a, a lot of stuff there. Um, three stacks of iron, two stacks of coal. And then I'm ready for steel. And I'm already set up for Constantan and Invar there. And then a bunch of other miscellaneous resources to go with it so that I can just run through the furnace. I need to start processing this stuff. What is what's in my furnace right now? Bunch of random stuff. I could I could start processing all this. Um, let's let's get my materials first. 
But I might I might spend a, a chunk of this night just getting my steel all processed. Um, I want all this. God. It's not a high priority, but I do want it. Okay, if I just dig down here, am I going to find more silicon? Yep. Just gonna leave this exposed, so I know I, I want to keep digging in this direction. Oh, there's actually a ton underneath the surface here. A ton of silicon. So I'm just gonna dig up all this dirt and just leave it all exposed, ready for me to get later on. I, I know I'm wasting my time, but... It, it's nice to... if. It, when I notice a big chunk of materials under the surface like that, I like to expose it. There we go. So massive silicon deposit right here. I'll know to get that later. Okay, I want iron and coal. Two stacks of coal and three stacks of iron. This terrain isn't updating. That bugs me. Oh well, we'll just randomly dig around until it updates. Update. Two stacks of coal, three stacks of iron. Uh, yeah. Okay, um... My copper situation is kind of dire, so I, I do want a ton of copper. Oh, it's updating. Cool. Fantastic. And there's a ton of copper here. It's not my priority, but I... I don't know, when the opportunity to grab a bunch of copper presents itself, I, I take it. No matter what I'm doing, just like, ooh, here's my chance. Let's grab a bunch of copper. I don't feel comfortable with my copper situation unless I have, like, over 500 of it. Because it's something you just always need. You always need it. Doesn't matter how much you mine, at some point you will run out. Jetpack is good. It's got so much copper down here. I, I I know I need to stop. I need to just come back for it later. Maybe maybe I can expose all this copper to the surface, so I could just look right down and go, oh, lots of copper. So if I just go straight up. away all this, go straight up, expose it all, and then I'll be able to find it later on. So just dig through the ceiling. Come on, update. Gosh. I'm saying gosh because I didn't realize how high up. I'd have to dig. It's okay, I'm getting rid of that hill, which is blocking my flat panel solar panels. So it's not... It's not like a waste of time or anything. Um, although, my whole purpose of coming out here was to get iron and coal, not expose copper and eat away a hill, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. this. I'm digging this hill away. I feel like I'm making progress. Okay. Um, that copper is more exposed than what it was. I should be able to find it again just by roaming around this hill. But yeah, that's a huge, a uh, huge resource node of copper there. Oh, there we 
go. I still can't see it from directly above. I still have to look at it from the side. Just remembering it's right next to silver helps as well. There's a bunch of gold that I want as well. Okay, well this, this exposes the copper a lot more than it was exposed. Um, I'm not here for gold. It doesn't matter, the terrain's not updating, so I'm just going to dig around the gold. I think I've already dug around this gold once already. I'm digging around it even more now. Just exposing it so that I can come and get it some other time. Just so I know to come here. Okay, let's just do what I came out here to do. Coal and iron. Just create some space. It's just really hard and annoying. It's, it's, it's hard to accumulate a bunch of coal if, uh, if the terrain isn't updating. There could be more coal under here. There might not be. I don't know. I won't know until all this, all this updates. iron over here. There could be a ton under here. I just don't know. This is frustrating. It really is. Come on developers, do something about this. Even if you have to kind of simplify the game a little bit, dumb down the physics. Um, this unfortunately just makes the game unplayable the fact that the terrain is not updating. I wanted three stacks of iron, two stacks of coal. Update. Now I'm worried that there's more iron down here and I won't know about it because I've dug away, all, I've, I've eaten all the iron and there won't be any exposed. So I kind of want to just stay here and, and continue to dig dirt away just, just in case I expose iron. There's the sun. There's more iron, which I can't mine. And by the sun, I mean the black hole. This is just annoying. Let's do that so-called trick. No, it does nothing. This is an updating EVA. Where's my base? It's over there. So that's another thing I can do. I can just uh, remember where it is. You just head over this hill and apparently there's a massive iron deposit there. There's the gold deposit, and there's the nickel deposit. So just head over the nickel deposit. I, I don't want to go back in because I don't have enough iron yet. Come on, three three stacks of iron is what I want. Will this update? Of course not. Is there any, there's a ton of iron here. So I can get it, but the terrain's not updating. And I still don't have enough coal. I'm not going to bother getting those ones down there. Well, at least I'm at the two stacks of iron stage. How's the temperature looking? 240 degrees. There was a lot of coal at the back of my base before. Yeah, there still is. But the terrain's not updating, so... bit of nickel there. I can grab that really quick. I don't need it, but... Three hundred degrees out here. Okay, 
I'm not going to stay out here any longer than this. I'm just going to... I'll just grab this last bit of coal here and head back in. By the time I come back out, the terrain will have updated. Um, okay, so... We're almost got the iron I need. I'm very... I'm, I'm getting close. Uh, in terms of coal... Let's get rid of that. Let's chuck this here. Let's chuck that down there. I am also close on coal as well. I'm going to keep that in here. I know it's really, really hot. Look at all this copper. Uh, I'll sort this this belt out later. Maybe make some more lo another locker. So I've got two lockers out here. I don't know. Beacon off. You draw too much power, my friend. 477 degrees. Uh, Chews through my oxygen and through my waste tank. It didn't chew that much, actually. Um, all good. Okay, and just go through the same routine as I did before. Let's trade out my battery. Let's um, recharge my mining battery while I'm here. I really should make a, a large battery cell just for my miner, because that's just too too important a battery. Um, this thing is going to be just insta full. Everything else is good. I don't need more oxygen. I'll, I'll grab more propellant though. I don't mind doing that. There we go. Ay 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 ay. Okay, temperature of the greenhouse. 32.2, yeah, it's just very slowly creeping down. It goes up during the night, uh, up during the day, and then down during the night. It goes more down during the night than it goes up during the day. Um, let's eat the last of this food. There we go. Why does the can land on the floor? I don't, I don't know why it does that. Let's make some, tom uh, some more tomato soup. I only need 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to split in half. There we go. And wait, what? What just? I, I don't know what just happened then. Okay. Um, let's get these in. Ten and this. There we go. We'll produce tomato soup. Turn this on. And ding. It would say ding if I wasn't in a vacuum. Um, let's turn this off. Let's shut this cover. Um, let's eat some pumpkin soup this time. There we go. It's all, all going to be tomato soup pretty soon. It's going to be my only diet. Unless, unless I can find a trader that sells what I want to want to sell. Um... I got one iron. One iron in here. What the hell? I guess I could make two pipes with it or something. Let's just chuck it all in here. Okay, um, I got my chemistry station. Reagent processor, microwave. There is another device you can chuck on a power bench. Uh, the paint mixer, yeah. Which I, I don't actually use. I mean, I could just make the colored paints I want. I'm not even sure what the purpose of it is. Let's check some temperatures. Negative 30, it's getting there. Whoops. Temperature of this, 34, getting there. Getting there, not bad. Yeah, that's 34. Temperature of this, negative 3, which is great. I've got 7.3 degrees, so I've got nothing in there. Oxygen tank, 19 hasn't changed. This thing's slowly getting down there, which is good. Um... How much water do I have? 65. One bottle's worth in there and two bottles worth of there. I'm going to have to make some more water. Um, I'm tempted to flush my greenhouse room. Um, get all the oxygen out of there. And just replace it all with CO2. I think I'm going to do that right now. Just um, The CO2 percentage should be very large now. Fourteen percent CO two now. 
it's uh, still... I, I could leave this. I don't actually need to do this now. Gosh, it's going slowly. Come on. What's wrong with you? You're only putting gas in one square. Or one cube. But uh, look how much oxygen it is per square. This is uh, pretty fantastic. Oh, 40 moles of oxygen per square. Oh no, it's not. It's just equalizing. 38? Something like 38? Yeah. 38 slash 37. 38 times by 29. That's a lot of oxygen. Three, 380 times 3. It's over a thousand. Um, let's pull some of it out. So what this is doing is just sucking the um, the carbon dioxide and the oxygen out of the room, just pulling both out at the same time. What's going to happen is that oxygen percentage is going to slowly go down as it sucks it out. Where's the sun? I mean the black hole. I'm not going to get much out. So instead of being 38, it's now 33. Oh, the pressure down here is very low. These plants aren't like getting hurt or anything, they're not dying. Okay. The pressure is 42, 41. It's fine, 40. If I hop into the corner, I get to see, get a more realistic idea of how much oxygen I've sucked out. So like 10 moles per square, so that's 290 moles so far. The pressure's getting down. Over here the pressure's almost 30. I think what I'm going to do is just stop it here. And then just fill the room with CO2. So 38 became 24, so 14 per square, 14 times 3, about 400 moles. About 400 moles of oxygen just got sucked into my oxygen tank, which is good. And now I'm just replacing it all with carbon dioxide. I'm just going to let this thing run. I, I really don't think it's an issue. Um, I'm not going to bother harvesting plants. They're only there to create oxygen. That's, that's their purpose. The black hole is dropping below the horizon. I'm now wasting precious, precious night time. Um, um, just one quick look. What's my oxygen supplies? I'm going to make more water very soon. I know I know. I said I was going to make my next yeah, 1.62 plus another 405. That's 2k moles of oxygen. It's all looking really nice oxygen-wise. Um, I think I'm going to fill this pipe up with oxygen now. It's fine. They're both below 30 degrees. So when I mix them, it's all going to be good. Um, I, I said I was going to make fuel mix for the furnace, but I think I'm going to make a batch of water first. It's no, it's no big deal. Um, yeah, I do want to rip that up and put it all in a, on a wall <laughs> rather than have it the way it is. Oh, I was thinking of making some lockers to hold all these extra minerals because I'm, I'm currently, yeah. Uh, what I can do is I can start processing some of this stuff. So let's get one one load of this stuff in already. Right now, the pressure in there is pretty cool. The temperature is pretty high, actually. Is there any free copper for me? Free copper! Free copper! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go! It's going to pop up copper bars for me. Thank you! Another one! And oh no, it got too cold. Okay, well this copper is being processed, so I can actually um, I can arc furnace that if I want to. Um, okay, let's start processing all my coal and yeah, get 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 all this stuff processed.
So I'll have 150 iron and 50 hydrocarbons in there. And that'll create cupboard space for me. So I can store the rest of the stuff. I know I've already processed this, but I'm, I don't care. I can do it this way. I should have drunk something before I left. Um, I'm going to chuck all this in my furnace as well. Should be fine. Let's make it a hundred hydrocarbons. Just getting everything pre-processed. Then I'm going to evacuate the furnace. Stick in my fuel. And then pull the lever. And out comes steel. Okay, so that's um, two lots in. Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Um, there are guns and stuff in this game. I was just thinking, you know, if they, if they added like a like an enemy that you have to deal with that actually attacks you, that would that would make this game incredibly spooky. It'd become a horror game. Right now, I know I'm the only thing on this on this rock, so I don't have to worry about uh, something shooting me in the back while I'm doing this. But imagine if there were enemies that could uh, attack you at any time from the darkness. That'd make this game terrifying. So, uh, but the fact that there are guns in this game leads me to believe that that's what they're going to do, which is uh, it's pretty 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 spectacular. Um, I think I can probably process these. So I want to get this to 750 iron and 250 coal or hydrocarbons. So after I do this it's going to be 600 iron. So I need three stacks of iron and one stack of coal. I mean I can I can do that as well. I can chuck that in. I can chuck these in as well. Um, but I, I'd rather go... I've got two of the stacks I need. I need... Um, yeah, I'll do it now. How's this going? Processing. Good. So getting getting your, your furnace all set up ready for the smelt is fairly, fairly good. I know steel doesn't have as high a requirements as the other things, but I like to do the steel first because that requires the most prep. Um, I'm going to get this iron in here as well. Okay, so I just need a stack of coal and I'm all set to go. Well, I'll have to evacuate the furnace and then put my fuel mix in. So I've got the copper, lots of copper. Um, yeah, it's just iron, coal, one stack of coal I need. How's the silicon looking? Is any why why am I holding this on me? Um, that's fine. Let's go mining. But yeah, imagine if there were like enemies out there somewhere. Some kind of scary creature that could attack at any moment. I didn't put my beacon on. If a uh, a storm hit, oh imagine that you're out here. A storm hits and enemies are attacking you all at the same time. It could, yeah, this could become a horror game very quickly. Um, you know, it'd be nice if, if the, you know, if they do implement that stuff and they basically gave you a set of options so you can choose what's in the game. So you can choose the storms, you can choose the enemies, um, yeah, you can choose all sorts of things. Choose your hunger rate separate to your, um, first rate. You know, if, if I could, like, tailor the settings to make it the ultimate challenge, that, that'd be, that'd be great. Um, it's not really much of a challenge anymore. I've conquered the most important parts um, of Vulcan here anyway, right now. Um, I'm not really running around with any fear. My only fear is a glitch, a bug, really. 
Um, what did I leave on in my greenhouse? I left the carbon dioxide pumping in, but that's okay. That maxes out at 101. I'm not going to like blow up my greenhouse by doing that. Act defense only push with 101 pressure for some reason. Um, I'm trying to think what else I left on. I left on the um, oxygen heading, yeah, the pressure regulator for the oxygen heading towards my mixer because I'm getting that set up and ready to do a big mix. Mainly I'm getting water first because I'm almost out. I did a big water thing not long ago but I'm almost out of water. It's not a big issue, I got infinite H2. Okay, there we go, one more. That's good. I got all the coal I need. I just want um, iron now. Uh, yeah, and I'm I'm turning like I've got infinite CO2, and I'm turning my CO2 into oxygen via my plants. So, what on earth's going on here? So, yeah, I mean I'm I'm kind of set in a way. It's all it's all good. I can't see a big danger at the moment. Biggest danger is I stuff up and blow something up in my base. Like if I blew up my oxygen supply, that, that'd be that'd be terrible. If I did blow up my base, yeah, I, I don't have enough on me to get come back from that. It depends how much of my base I lose. Okay, anyway, I, I want more iron. A lot more iron. Yeah, I'm just digging this away. Um, firstly, because it's kind of the top of the hill. Secondly, because I saw iron there and I thought there might be more iron inside. And it, and it was. There was more iron inside, so it's worth it. That's not updating. Neither is that. So I'm... I'm hacking away at this and it's it's not refreshing. And here comes the black hole. Put an end to my my fun outdoors. All those floating chunks of dirt. Just want to get rid of them. Can't stand floating dirt. I'm sure that's just not updating. Iron, I want that. Give me more iron. Yeah, there's a lot of copper here as well. Um, the one thing I'm kind of missing now is just uh, gold, really. Oh, look at that, yuck. That is a lovely little copper vein here. Temperature's rising. See, this is not updating, but this is. So I can dig away this dirt in here. Oh, maybe I can't. Well, that gives me a window to somewhere anyway. It's just terrible. Oh, floating dirt. Get lost, floating dirt. You are not welcome here. Oh, gold. This is what I need. It's, unfortunately, it's 200 degrees out here. So I'm just going to dig up the hillside and try and expose it more so I know it's here, so I can find it again. Just dig away this mound here. That floating island is bugging me. Unfortunately, I don't have enough time to, to go get it. But yeah, I'm going to come back here and get that gold. Oh, that black hole. I wonder how much of this thing is actually here. If, if I see, you know, bits of rock flying in the air, I know I'm digging something. So I'm, I'm digging something right now. And of course there's a bit of coal there. 
Okay, 370 degrees. Oh, silicon. No! Oh, this thing's bugging me. What is this? Annoying dirt. I really want to extend these frames out, actually, so I don't fall in this ravine. What resources down there? Iron! I want that. It's a lot of stuff I want. I don't have time for. Um, this thing seems very happy. It's not steel happy, but it's it's happy. It's pushing along. It's only 200 degrees though. Oh, the pressure is huge though. Health low. Health low. Oh, I've been dying of thirst this entire time. Um, I might put 30 iron and 10 coal in. Just do this. There we go. Let's get inside. It's 500 degrees. Out of curiosity, I should just like load up this game, stand in the sun, and uh, and see what temperatures I can live to. I might actually be able to just stare at the black hole and not not ever die. So uh, I'm not I'm not sure what my hard suit can handle at the moment. I I, I don't usually play that risky. I kind of just do whatever I read is correct. Um, so, you know, I don't blow stuff up very often. It's very rare for me to blow anything up. Because I just read what are the limits and I always stay within those limits. I, I really should experiment more. I should um, just, you know, see test the limits more on what I can and can't do. Oh, I do. I have tested the limits on my life total. I guess it's probably something a lot of people haven't done. Um, but I mean, the first couple of times, the first time I anyway, I tried Vulcan, and I ran out of water, and I thought that's it, I'm dead. And then I just watched my life total slowly, slowly go down. That's kind of when I realised I can use my life as a resource. So I wasn't testing limits, it was just like, well, I didn't manage to get water in time, I'm dead. And then to my surprise, found I had a lot more time up my sleeve than I knew. And that's when it occurred to me that I could um, I could use my life as a resource, uh, basically treating my health total as an extra source of water, effectively. Um, 34.5, I want more propellant. Yeah, whatever. There we go. That's one very filled up jetpack. How's my oxygen looking? I, I don't really have to touch it. 8600. No, we're not going to have to worry about that for a while. Let's just empty my waste tank. And there we go. That's good. Um, What's my greenhouse at? Let's keep an eye on it. 27.3. So that's going to slowly creep down. Just creep down. During the night it's going to go down, and during the day it's going to go back up again. Um, I just drank, that's why my water's so high. And I don't need to eat, I'm not even going to bother. Um, I left the carbon dioxide on in here. I'm going to just turn that off really quick. Um, I just got a bunch of copper. I can do stuff with that. Um, I think first I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to, well, first thing I'm going to do is turn off the, uh, the CO2 in here, but I'm going to quickly check to see what my O2 percentage is, 10%. Okay. I could uh, pull more oxygen out of here whenever I want. Uh, this isn't full yet. I would have thought it would have been filled up by now. Um, I want to kind of just let this go for a bit longer. 99, it's almost at 100 kilopascals, that's kind of what I was going for. Oh, I just saw the time, 1.15. I, uh, I want to put a stop to this video very soon. Take a break. Um, 
not going to touch my greenhouse. So the plant, I mean, I could harvest the plants. I could be creating lockers and lockers and lockers full of food. But to what end? You know, what for? You know, maybe to, to trade? I mean, maybe I could turn it all into canned food and trade. Canned food trades for a lot, like between 250 and 300 credits per can of food. So, yeah, I could be doing that. But, I mean, I don't have anything to spend the, the actual money on, the credits on, because I'm not going to just buy all the end game stuff. I want to earn it properly by playing the game, not by just, you know, taking advantage of the imbalanced trader system. Um, what was I doing? Um, okay, so in here we've got 6.9 degree H2, and we've got 21.8 degree O2. I can safely mix those. Um, let's turn this off. And let's turn this on. What's going on with the lights there? That's interesting. It's the grow lights. Um, so, okay, the lighting needs a bit of work on this. If I look directly at it, it doesn't light them up. But if I look to the left, um, it's suddenly lighting up those squares. If I look to the right, it's suddenly lighting up those squares. So, yeah. It's a little annoying, but it's okay. So I'm just going to let that build up. Um, what are my percentages? Yeah, that's good enough. Do I have anything in this already? I got some O2 in here. So really I want to be a bit H2 heavy. I want my input 1 to be a little more than it's supposed to be, which it actually is. 6733 should be fine. It's a lot more. Heck of a lot more. Let's change it. Nope. Do it this way. There we go. The black hole has almost set. I'm I'm making water first. Uh, what temperature is this stuff? Negative nine point eight. Thirty four point five. I'm actually gonna pump this pipe up. I'm gonna try and keep this this pipe up at twenty megapascals. I'm just going to use up all this oxygen and just turn it all into water. Um, I can just let that mix. So there's no danger of the temperature being too high. There's no there's no danger anywhere that I can see. Um, let's go out and... Whoa! Let's not go out. Whoa. Instead, let's stay in here and make some duct tape. <laughs> oh, just as I'm about to go out, the storm hits. Okay, duct tape time. Why did I close my backpack? What possessed me to do that? Iron, please. Thank you. Get in there. Um, okay, I guess I'm spending the night inside. I might have a little bit of the night at the end, which is going to be spent repairing um, solar panels. Um, I want to put a stop to this video. I'm going to wait until after the storm. After I've duct taped up my uh, solar panels. When I've done that, I will stop. Well, actually, I'll wait till the storm finishes, then save, and then next video I know to immediately rush out and uh, repair everything. The storms are vicious. They do so much damage to the solar panels, the solar array. Let's just do this. Um, I could, yeah, wait till the storm ends and save the video, uh, save, and then charge out. Because I'll be holding all this duct tape on, know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. I think, I think it's, that's where I go with this. Um, I could play with the chemist the reagent processor or chemistry station create some uh, soy oil create some fries but that's just gonna eat up space I actually don't want to unless I'm gonna sell them unless I'm gonna make a big batch of fries chuck them all in the vending machine and sell them but yeah that's about the best I can do 
Um, I could harvest those crops in there. I could do a big gas swap. There's actually a lot I can do with this uh, this knight. Um, but my first priority is water. 33 megapascals in there. That oxygen's almost run out. That hydrogen has run out. Fascinating. Okay, let's go. Let's get this water made. Go. Bubble away. Create water. Um, it's going to take a while to do this. So when I create fuel mix, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rip up this pipe and um, you know point it up or something, and then attach a a canister storage. I could probably just rip this off of here um, and chuck it on there. Make some fuel mix. So basically, a canister of H2 and O2. And then I'm going to insert that into there, and it goes straight into the furnace, and bam, the furnace is going. I should be able to immediately pull the lever and just pop out my thousand um, steel. Then what I'll do is put the lever back up. I'll then boost the pressure. I'll then hit the activate button on my active vent. And when I just pile a ton of extra gases in there, it'll boost the pressure and temperature like crazy. It'll be like 1,200 um, degrees Celsius. Okay, it's time I, I run this thing here. And at, and once the pressure gets to 18 megapascals, I then turn off the active vent. Um, I, while it's rising in temperature, I'm chucking in the materials for either Invar or Constantan. I can't remember which one. Uh, so it's going to raise. As soon as it hits 1800, I turn off the active vent, and then I pull the lever, pull out one of my alloys, okay, and then close the vent up, stick materials in for the next alloy, and turn the vent back on, and get the pressure above 20 megapascals, and then I can pull the lever and pull out my other alloy. And then any heat that's left in the furnace after that um, is going to be used to smelt all the uh, silicon and copper and gold and and all the random bits and pieces I have left over until it gets too cold. So another copper and gold, so silicon and iron, I'll be just running them through the furnace, trying to get as many freebies as I can. And then once it's too cold, like be below, when it's below 627, I go, I above 627 is silicon, below 627 iron, when it's below 527, copper and gold. So I've done this many, many times. I know, I, I kind of know how it works. I, I sometimes mess it up, and it's always funny when I do mess it up. Okay, there should be another 118 moles of H2O being produced. I'm going to turn this off and test that theory out. So if I do this, the combined H2O in here and here should be 118 moles. So add another 90. It looks like it's true. Um, the storm is still raging on. I've got my duct tape all ready to go. I'm just trying to get this... Uh, this water done. So how much water did I add to this tank? Yeah, okay, got 359 moles there. Decent amount, and I'm guessing there'll be another 118 very soon. This storm is never ending. My poor solar panels, I hope they don't, like, just disintegrate, because the storm is lasting so long. Um, gas mixer is happening. Okay. Uh, gas mixer can be turned off. There's nothing else in there. And is it 118? 38 plus... Oh no, it's still processing this. 87 plus 37. 94 plus 30. 124, yeah. Uh, about 120. Then my theory is correct. Every mole of O2 gives a mole of H2O. That's how it should be anyway. When you add hydrogen and oxygen together, it's, it's every mole of O2. Yeah. One mole of O2 and two moles of H2 gives you one mole of H2O. And it's exactly uh, what's happened here. So I'm just uh, pulling... Is it finished yet? No, it's still going. Hang in there, solar battles. Hang in there. Just, just don't die. Super long storm. So I'm just going to rip out all the H2 from here. All the H2O, sorry. 
I, I can honestly stop it right now. It, it doesn't matter if there's a few lingering moles of H2O floating around. Uh, look at the temperature of this. It's dropping rapidly, but 475 moles. That, that has fixed my water situation quite nicely for the short term. I just drank some water, so I've just dropped the uh, dropped it a little bit more. This will say NA when it's done. Oh, it's clearing up. I'm, I'm just going to stop it early. I need to get outside before the sun rises. I got a, a little bit of time to patch these poor guys up. Clothes. Oh, I left that on. Oh, it doesn't matter. What are you down to, my friend? 43%. The, uh, the black hole will be up soon. What are you? 67%. What are you? 52. What are you? 58. You are 64. You're now 84. 40%. Storm did not like you very much. 64%. You're okay, dude. 28%! This is the thing that got hit the worst. This thing got really messed with. God. Um, look at the way they're pointing. The sun's coming up any moment now. 52%. Um, 39%. 67%. 58%. 34 all patched okay and you guys don't, don't get damaged but you supplied me with stuff okay so I've actually got all this primed how hot is this furnace it's cooled down substantially I'm going to I'm going to suck out these gases. This is going to greatly increase my H2 and O2 and CO2 temperatures. Well, actually, there's not much O2 in there. Um, it's mainly my CO2 temperature that's going to get a big boost. There's hardly any H2 in there. X. i got to keep an eye on that X tank. I'm producing a lot. I think I'm producing a lot more CO2 than X, though. So CO2 is going to get busted before X is... I can see the black hole coming up. I can hear the sound effects of explosions and stuff as the as the gravity. Yeah, the gravity of the black hole, the tidal forces on the planet should be pulling the magma to the surface. The tidal forces on this planet would be insane. I think that's what they're going for, but they didn't want to make it like dynamic. I mean. The game's already struggling to update simple terrain already. If they had like um, geysers and stuff of lava spouting out randomly, it'd be too hard to do with what they've got at the moment. But in reality, yeah, um, I don't know, I, I guess it depends how close we are. We actually don't know how big that black hole is, and we don't know... I mean, it is a massive black hole, but we don't know how far away it is. That black hole could be the centre of a galaxy, for instance, and we could be an enormous distance away, in which case the tidal forces on us, on this planet, on the surface, wouldn't be that bad. But if it's actually a close black hole, we're close to it, then um, the tidal forces on the planet would just tear the planet inside out over and over again. I mean, you just have to look at a, a moon like Io, which is circling Jupiter. It's one of Jupiter's largest moons. Um, but the tidal forces of Jupiter, and this is just a gas giant, Jupiter, are so much on the moon that it basically gets turned inside out, like, every day or so. Well, not every day, but very often it gets turned inside out. The, um, the lava spurting out from the, from the inside to the outside, and, and so on. The outside cools because it 
you know, there's no heating on it. Uh, the inside stays red hot and then the inside gets pulled back out to the outside and then, yeah. The cool stuff ends up on the inside and it gets really, really hot because the tidal forces and it gets pulled back out again. And that's kind of what would be happening to a planet like Vulcan if we were very close to that black hole. It would just be lava just spurting out of this thing all the time. Um, we're at 400 degrees Celsius here. I don't think I can mine anymore. I, in fact, I shouldn't be because I'm, I'm currently pulling gases out of my furnace. Oh, it's empty. Good. That, that's what I was going for, empty furnace. Um, I, I want to sort this cupboard out in like order of priority. Uh, the first thing I want to smelt is silicon. This is after I've done the big things. Then come all my excess iron. Then comes the copper and gold at the end. Copper and gold doesn't require much. What the? Yeah. Um, I don't need this coal. Let's just get rid of it. Um, 562 degrees. Yikes. Okay, um, I did a lot then. I managed to repair my solar panels after that storm hit. Um, I even did a tiny bit of mining. Uh, my furnace is evacuated. So despite the storm, I got a bit done that night. I got a bit done. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I've also managed to get another big batch of water done. Um, it's still... Oh, I turned this off. That's the problem. It won't pull it out of the machine while the machine is turned off. Nothing goes out of the machine. Okay, so this next big batch of oxygen and hydrogen is going towards my furnace fuel. So let's just get this going. It should be cold enough. 22.8 is good, negative 12.8 is good, yeah, it's below 30 degrees, so it's not going to spontaneously combust in this pipe and, and blow my base up. Uh, let's just check this out, that's fine. Temperature of my greenhouse, 25.8, it's on the low side. It's on the low side. Um, okay, uh, let's just put the masking tape, the, well, the duct tape away. And yeah, replace my batteries. Just do a, a bit of quick um, cleaning up. Oxygen tank's fine. I'll just quickly empty that. Propellant's fine. This is this is all fine. Um, I changed my most important battery. I'm not going to bother changing any other batteries. Okay, um, I'm going to put an end to this transmission. I'm not sure I'm, what I'm going to do right now during the day. I do know that furnace operations are about to occur and I'm just making sure all the H2O is out of here. It is. There's nothing left in the pipe. Fantastic. Um, one last thing I'm going to do is just chuck these liquid coolers, these liquid radiators back on here. Just cool this water down. You, ne you never know. Um, I might boost the amount of water in this room or something. Who knows? Um, negative 36.6. Okay, I'm putting into this transmission. Um, next, tomorrow, I, unfortunately, this time I didn't get around to doing my big furnace. That um, I probably would have if it wasn't for that storm. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. No, I just would have ended the transmission earlier, I think. Uh, the big big furnace job is happening next time. Definitely. I've got everything all set up and ready to go. I just need the uh, fuel. Once i got the fuel, I'm ready to do the big furnace. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.